so azospermia how yeah. it's diagnosed so again that's that's um that's when you have no sperm in the ejaculate so the first thing to do is the semen analysis you know and if when you spin it down there's no sperm then that's the diagnosis of azospermia and then again what we're trying to do is see if we can just because a man comes in with that does not mean that we're not going to find sperm anywhere um, and whenever i think about azospermia the, the way i break it down is you know, is it a production problem? Is the man having a problem making sperm? So he makes very few or not any, or is it a problem with delivery? Is he making them, but can't get them out? There's a very interesting mm -hmm. um, condition called congenital bilateral absence of the vas deferens, CBAVD, where men, it's almost like men are born with a vasectomy. Like they, they have the sperm, they have the testes and sometimes the the drainage tubes, but they don't have the vas deferens, which is the tube that carries the sperm. And those are always a fun diagnosis to make because almost always they're making sperm, they just can't get out. So those, those couples are, if they're willing to do in vitro fertilization and go in and get the sperm, you know, have a very high chance of having sperm. And then uh, depending on the woman's age and fertility, you know, success. So that there's, there can be obstruction or there can be um, a production. Um, and so then we're trying to you know, figure out which one there is and then treat or get sperm from whatever we find. I have three boys, so I'm always thinking, you know, they're young and they like to have uh, conversations about their <laughs> their bodies. And, you know, it's something that, that as a mom I think about, you know, we're, we're not going to know if everything is okay until they get to the point of trying to have a baby, right? You don't, you can't find out well, you know, there's, it's a good question. But it's interesting. The pediatricians usually will do a, a genital exam. They want to make sure that the testes are both, have both come down. And they're actually the ones who will often send me the patients with uh, the adolescents with varicoceles, which are dilated veins in the scrotum. So, you know, there is a definite relationship between testicular size and sperm production. Um, but I'm not sure that you would necessarily want to find out there was a problem if, you know, unless there's something you can do about it uh, early.